Hi guys, this is Haley. Today I'm going to talk all about chap lips. This is something many of you guys asked me to do as I create like a lip gloss swatch try on videos and it's sometimes tricky to apply lip gloss when your lips are not in good conditions. And I realized that we tend to neglect our lip skin and do not care that much as much as we do for our skin so i decided to make a series for lip care so today is the first episode about chap lips in this video i'm going to talk about what is chap lips what causes chap lips and how to get rid of it with products i think this is gonna be a lengthy video so let's just run into it before we touch on the topic about chap lips i think it is important to know about our lip skin because it is different from the rest of our body normal skin has separate layers the top cranial layers has 50 to 16 layers but for lip skin the top layers has only three to four layers it also has no hair follicles and sweat glands meaning that it does not produce any body oil or sweat to protect our lips from external environment so it is really really vulnerable to dryness common problem that will happen for our lips would be chap lips which we are going to talk about today and aging lips lips are one of the first places to show the sign of aging so we tend to lose voluminous of the leaves as we get older and it also is more vulnerable than our skin when it comes to sun damage so we have to protect our lip skin by applying SPF as well and another common problem would be angular chelators angular chelators is a condition that presents a rough painful red swollen and itchy red patch usually located at the corner of the mouth to soothe the pain and dryness of your lips you might lick your lips more by doing that, the saliva can get trapped in the corner of your mouth and it will just perfect environment, warm environment for fungus like yeast to grow. Some people may even mistake angular chelators as chap lips and they treat it in a wrong way. So it is very important to know what lip problem you have exactly. Then what causes chap lips? The first reason is nutrient and vitamin deficiencies. It could be vitamin, zinc, and iron. If you like vitamin B2, B3, and vitamin C, you might end up with dry and cracked lips. So please take more food containing high vitamin B, such as leafy green, vegetables, whole grains, and nuts. Zinc is essential mineral that is really important to your health. So deficiency in zinc may cause dryness, irritation, and inflammation on the side of your mouth. You might want to have some food high in zinc, such as oyster, beef, beans, and yogurt. If you have angular chelators, iron is the one you might lack of. So take some food high in iron such as spinach, red meat, and shellfish. And the next reason is obviously dehydration. If your body is lack of hydration, your lips will become dehydrated as well. So drink enough water to maintain hydration level in all skin, especially lip skin. External factors also matter when it comes to chap lips. Sun damage might be one of the most relevant causes for chap lips. Not only our skin, but also lips can be damaged from the UV rays. So we have to protect our lips by applying SPF, lip balm with SPF. If you are in cold and windy weather, your lips might become drier. If you have allergic to some kind of lip products or food, your lips might be really red, swollen, and chapped. And the last reason would be using a toothpaste with high amount of SLS, aka sodium lauryl sulfate. If you use some really strong toothpaste, you might experience really like dryness and really irritation on your lips. I used to use that really strong toothpaste because I really like the feeling of freshness on my mouth. But every time I brush my teeth, I always had to apply a moisturizer around my lips and also put really thick lip balm because I feel really, really dry on my lips. So using a really gentle toothpaste might help to kill the chapped lips as well. 
Now we are moving on to how to get rid of chapped leaves with product. If you already experienced the painful side of chapped leaves, that means the moisture barrier on your leaves is already damaged. So restoring it with a lip balm is the first thing we need to do, not using a lip exfoliator because if you use lip scrub in the first place, it can create like a micro tears on your lips and it can damage your lips more. So I'm going to start with moisturizing my lips with lip mask. So use a lip mask or lip balm which is very hydrating and nourishing. But avoid anything with fragrance, especially any mint teas like peppermint, menthol, mint. I know nowadays people avoid anything with fragrance when it comes to their skincare. And also to heal your chap leaves, avoid anything with fragrance is also important. Because our lip skins are much more thinner and more sensitive than the normal skin, which means the active ingredients penetrate more into the lip skin. For example, what menthol or any mint derivatives ingredients on the lip product could do is first it can give you a feeling of you are actually smoothing your lips and second is a cooling effect what they actually do is irritating your lips if you keep applying more you are kind of in the circles of lip balm addiction so please avoid any products with uh, mint derivatives and lemon extract especially when your lips are chopped and more sensitive it can eventually irritate your lips more. I actually bought a bunch of lip products, lip balm, lip scrub, lip mask, but I found that it is so hard to find a product without any scent. So even though I purchase a lot, I have only four products I can recommend to you. They have no scent, no fragrance. First thing is this good old Vaseline. As long as we use really well, properly refined petrolatum, there is gonna be no issue when you apply on your leaves as well as on your skin. So if you have really chapped leaves, I would like to recommend this to use as a lip mask. This can really help to like soothe your lips when you wear it really really thick layer and the next day you will see a big difference vaseline is actually a safe ingredient and people don't have that much allergic to vaseline so i would like to recommend this product as an affordable option to use as a lip mask before you use like a physical lip exfoliator when you decide to look for unscented lip balms you will see that most of products are petrolatum base or beeswax or sometimes castor seed oils so petrolatum is almost inevitable when it comes to lip balm without any sense if you still don't want to use vaseline and petrolatum i'd like to recommend this product this is by beauty agave plus intensive lip mask this doesn't have any petrolatum and lanolin so if you are looking for something clean cruelty free vegan natural and plant-based product this might be a good option for you their main ingredient is castor seed oil castor seed oil is something really thick nourishing and it contains really high fatty acid it is well known ingredient for hair growth so people put a little bit of castor seed oil on their hair or sometimes on their lashes to grow they also put cocoa seed butter sunflower seed oil and shed butter only downside about this lip mask would be it is too thick as it has really rich nourishing ingredients a lot so it is sometimes hard to apply it on your lips when your lips are super dry but if you're looking for something really thick and nourishing product this will be a good option for you and the next product i would like to recommend without any scent is this innisfree deep sleeping mask with canola oil canola oil is really great for anti-inflammatory and antibacterial effect it is really good to heal your lips when your lips are really chopped and dry they also put metal foam seed oil, squalene, castor seed oil, and beeswax. I actually use this product on daytime as well as nighttime. It gives instant hydration on your lips once you apply it. Longevity of this product is pretty good. I don't need to put like too often to keep my moisture on your lips when I apply this product. So I think this is such a good product without any scent. And the last product is actually my personal favorite and this is Lanolis 101 Ointment Multi Purple Super Balm. It is actually made of 100% lanolin. If you don't know about lanolin, lanolin oil or lanolin wax is derived from sheep's oil. It is such a good emollient because it is close to lipids in human 
my skin and also it can hold up around 400% of its weight in moisture. So it is very very effective to hydrate your lips as well as to moisturize your lips. But this ingredient can be a little bit controversial because some people have allergic to this ingredient. But if you don't have any allergic to lanolin, I think you're such a blast because it's such a good product. I always recommend this product to all of my friends who have dry lips, chapped lips, and they really really love them and I still couldn't find any alternative of this product if you look at original lanolin or wax, they have yellow color and also it can smell pretty bad but these brands use really well refined lanolin so it doesn't have any smell so it applies on the skin really really beautifully if you put a really thick layer of this product, you will definitely see a good result next day and after using a lip mask and if you can still see that like flaky things on your lips and you want to exfoliate now you can move on to lip exfoliator but if you think that your lips are smooth enough and don't need to use exfoliator you don't need this step i think the best way to treat your sharp lips is being gentle as much as possible and it will eventually bring a good result in the long term so now i'm talking about exfoliating the leaves i would highly recommend sugar scrub especially because sugar is humectant so if you use sugar lip scrub you will exfoliate your lips as well as hydrate your lips but please avoid anything harsh edge instead choose really gentle one which has very fine sugar which wouldn't irritate your lips a lot but look for more natural moisture like honey, coconut oil, and shad butter that mix the ingredient with sugar lip scrub I tried to find a lip scrub without any scent but it was actually so hard to find anything without scent but if you're still looking for something without any scent this can be a good option but it is not like sugar scrub it is actually made of um, coffee ground so it smells so good it's just literally like coffee and Inkilis is pretty simple they put olive root oil and beeswax so it feels really nourishing and it applies really really gently on my lips so I think this is a good option if you want to exfoliate but still want to be really gentle but after moisturizing our lips and exfoliate we are going to protect our lips with SPF as I say it's very very important to apply a lip balm with SPF to protect our lips from sun damage so I recently purchased this product from Neutrogena and it is called Malik Moisturizer and it has SPF 50 so it can actually work as a SPF and it does not have any fragrance it has pretty simple inky leaves sometimes if I use any lip balm with SPF it feels like a greasy and it leaves like oily feeling but it does not leave that greasy feeling at all so I think this is such a good affordable option so highly highly recommend this product so these are all about chopped leaves and how to get rid of it with products I hope you guys find this video helpful while I'm researching about this topic, I realized that there are not too many products. There are actually really few products without any scent. So I think it would be better to make a product actually. So I decided to make a video about DIY lip balm and lip scrub. So look forward to that. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.